scientists reported that a horned comet three times bigger than Mount Everest exploded and is hurtling toward Earth. A big object is currently orbiting the solar system and is getting closer every day. It is larger and more massive than a comet. It has been said that this comet is the biggest comet that humans have ever seen. Furthermore, the enormous comet is getting closer to our solar system, the Sun. The Earth and our Sun are very much in the same place. The issue is the comet's massive size, which has been compared to that of one of Mars's moons. Drop the idea. This comet is larger than the combined size of Mars's two moons. Even with the alignment of Mars's moons, the comet will still be larger than that. NASA continues to monitor its course. What's coming down to Earth's neighborhood that's been called a mega comet and has a highly elliptical orbit? Does it pose a threat to Earth? How huge is it? And will it destroy our world when it collides with it? Join us as we explore how NASA has just detected something massive that showed up in our solar system today. When we hear about comets or asteroids approaching our region, our thoughts instantly turn to the plight of the dinosaurs. That was all it took for the terrifying reptiles that ruled almost the whole food chain to be overthrown, just a space pebble. The dinosaur-killing asteroid was only 10 kilometers in diameter. However, a comet the size of Mars moons is currently moving faster into the solar system. This comet is rapidly approaching Earth and will be here for a considerable amount of time. How recently did you receive a guest? What was the size of the visitor? And how long did they stay? Probably not, but according to NASA, this massive visitor to our solar system has just arrived and is traveling quickly toward Earth. This guest will be here for many years. The cosmos surrounding us is enormous, yet how big it is depends more on one's perspective. The diameter of the solar system can be determined using the aphelion of the orbit of the farthest planet, the edge of the heliosphere, or, if you prefer, the farthest observable object. NASA estimates that the solar system has a radius of 3 billion miles and a diameter of 6 billion miles. This diameter could change, though, if additional research results in the dwarf planet Eris being promoted. Three times farther away than both Pluto and Earth, Sedna is the most distant visible object in the solar system. Because of its 88 billion miles distance from the Sun, the solar system has a diameter of 178 billion miles. The solar system is 1921 AU in diameter, and Sedna is roughly 960 AU from the Sun, despite the large number of zeros. The Earth and the Sun are separated by one astronomical unit, or 92 million miles. Another approach to look at the diameter of the solar system is to assume that it reaches the edge of the heliosphere. The heliosphere, a bubble at the border of the zone where the Sun's gravitational pull is stronger than that of other stars, is subject to pressure from the solar wind and the interstellar medium. The heliopause is the point at which our sun's gravitational attraction weakens and the solar wind stops. At this point, about 90 AU, the solar system will have a diameter of 180 AU. The cosmos is quite small as a whole, only slightly larger than the solar system. Outside the solar system, there are numerous objects, some of which occasionally enter the solar system and become our guests. The first interstellar object, or ISO, was seen traveling by Earth on October 19, 2017, as it left the solar system. Less than two years later, 2I Borisov, another interstellar comet, was discovered and proved to be straightforward to recognize. The existence of these two objects supports previous theoretical studies that concluded that ISOs routinely join our solar system. At this point, you may be wondering how frequently these ISOs join our solar system. Is this a frequent occurrence? According to a recent study conducted under the auspices of the Initiative for Interstellar Studies, I4IS, roughly seven ISOs reach our solar system every year and remain in predictable orbits throughout their stay. This research could lead to the possibility of sending a spaceship to visit one of these objects in the future. 
The study of celestial objects and astronomy transformed with the discovery of Oumuamua in October 2017. 2019 saw the confirmation of many astronomers' suspicions with the finding of Tuai Borisov. Not only was this object produced in a different star system, but its arrival and detection also revealed a sizable population of such things. ISOs enter our solar system on a regular basis. Still, this is the largest known interstellar object to enter our solar system. All of this began in October 2014 when, in Chile's Karma Desert, a telescope aimed up at the sky and captured faint glimmers of reflected light, creating a massive image of the southern night sky. Scientists would need almost seven years to pinpoint the strange light spot. The comet was named Bernardinelli Bernstein. It was a gigantic primordial comet and the largest ever seen with current instruments. In the final few weeks of his PhD studies at the University of Pennsylvania, Pedro Bernardinelli, a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Washington and his advisor at the time, Gary Bernstein, detected the comet. Scientists are working hard right now to find out everything they can about this massive visitor. According to recent Hubble Space Telescope studies, the enormous comet is actually the largest ever observed. The NASA announcement states that the comet C-2014 UN-271 has a nucleus or solid center that is around 93 miles diameter, larger than the state of Rhode Island. Furthermore, it is almost 50 times bigger than the typical comet core. If it were positioned close to Mount Everest, it would be over 15 times higher. Its size surpasses 15 times that of the object that struck Earth and wiped out the dinosaurs. The comet Bernardinelli Bernstein is enormous. Recall Hale Bopp, the comet that passed in front of us in 1997? They dubbed it a big comet. Moreover, the mass of Bernardinelli Bernstein is 10 times that of Hale Bopp. This is by far the most precise comet size estimate in many years. Comet 67P Churyumov Gerasimenko, which had a diameter of just 2.5 miles, was orbited by the European Space Agency's Rosetta mission from 2014 to 2016. In essence, comets the size of cities are replaced with comets the size of islands. Given its size, Comet Bernardinelli Bernstein might perhaps rank among the greatest comets in history, such as a brilliant comet that seemed to be fairly massive when it entered the inner solar system in 1729. In the further reaches of the solar system, there are thousands of other comets that are too faint to be seen, and this comet is essentially the tip of the iceberg. Because it is so bright at such a great distance, we have always assumed that this comet must be enormous. We can now confirm it is. The comet that was previously recognized as having the largest nucleus was C2002 VQ94, which was discovered in 2002 and was thought to measure roughly 60 miles across. The first sighting of this massive comet was made in 2010. A few years later, in archived data collected by the Dark Energy Survey at the Cerro Tololo Inter-American Observatory in Chile, Astronomers Pedro Bernardinelli and Gary Bernstein discovered the object. The object has been investigated since its first discovery using a variety of tools, including space-based telescopes like Hubble and ground-based telescopes. However, how did astronomers calculate the magnitude of this comet? Merely seeing its brightness, the quantity of sunlight it reflects, will not be sufficient. This is because an object from Earth that is huge and dark can have the same brightness as a little sparkling comet. Consequently, the astronomers gauge the comet's thermal flux, or heat output. They achieve this by monitoring infrared light, which is invisible to the human eye, but that we sense when the sun strikes our skin. A huge object absorbs more sunlight and then releases it. These data gave scientists a solid understanding of the comet's size and its distance from the object. Researchers were able to formally confirm the enormous size of this dirty snowball because of Hubble's observations. Comets are known as dirty snowballs because, although their composition can vary, they are composed of rock, ice, and other elements and debris. 
Comet Bernardinelli Bernstein is currently only 2 billion miles from the Sun, and its temperature is roughly minus 348 degrees Fahrenheit. Although extremely cold, this temperature is sufficiently warm to enable carbon monoxide to sublimate, a solid material turning gas, off the stony surface of the comet. This results in the formation of a coma, which is an envelope of gas and dust surrounding the solid core of a comet. The most remote area of our solar system, the Oort cloud, is thought to be the comet Bernardinelli Bernstein's source. It is home to a vast number of comets. The comets in this massive, dispersed cloud are believed to have formed closer to the Sun, but were thrown considerably farther away by gravitational interactions with the newly formed big planets in our solar system. And unless another gravitational pull pulls them in our direction, they usually remain out there. Given its extreme distance from Earth and its birth in the furthest regions of our solar system, it is believed that this comet follows an elliptical orbit around the Sun that lasts three million years. In its furthest orbit, scientists estimate that it may travel around half a light year from the Sun. This comet will also continue to exist for a while. Bernardinelli Bernstein will become brighter over the course of the next 10 years when it approaches the inner solar system and dive bombs the planet's orbital planes from below. It will be significantly farther from the Sun on January 21st, 2031, roughly a billion miles, than Saturn's typical distance. Its closest approach to the Sun will occur at this time. After that, it will start the arduous trek back into the solar system's outer regions, where it will stay visible until at least the 2040s. Bernardinelli Bernstein has the potential to be as brilliant as Titan, Saturn's largest moon, depending on the amount of gas that the comet emits as its ice melts in the sun's light. If this is the case, then the comet should be visible in 2031 with a decent backyard telescope. Amateur astronomers are going to have a great time with this. However, the fact that Bernardinelli Bernstein was found so far away from the Sun makes it unique. The frozen object is a component of the Oort cloud, an enormous spherical cloud of objects that envelops the Sun hundreds of times. Because it is farther away from Earth than Earth, astronomers predict that this comet will orbit the Sun for millions of years. Bernardinelli Bernstein is a comet record because of how early in its discovery it was found, while it was still more than 2.7 billion miles away. On their approach from the Oort cloud, only three of these comets with a lengthy period have been found. A whole generation of astronomers will be able to solve its riddles. Bernardinelli Bernstein was discovered using a highly sensitive digital camera that was deployed at the 13-foot-wide Blanco telescope which is a part of the Cerro Tololo Inter-American Observatory and is situated in the Chilean Atacama Desert. This camera served as the main data source for the Dark Energy Survey, an initiative that collected 80,000 exposures of the southern night sky between 2013 and 2019. It was not searching the solar system for far-off objects. This data set has altered scientists' view of dark energy the enigmatic force responsible for the universe's expansion. On the other hand, objects far closer to Earth can be found using photos obtained to study dark energy and other cosmic processes. Bernardinelli's doctoral work used dark energy survey photos to identify hitherto undiscovered particles circling the Sun beyond Neptune. This was a really challenging task because each image was so big that it took a grid of 275 HD screens to display even one at full definition. Bernardinelli looked for small light spots in tens of thousands of these photos. But rather than an alley, shortcuts were found in the age-old metaphorical hunt for a needle in a haystack. He developed software to examine the moving dots in photos from the Dark Energy Survey against the backdrop of far-off stars. A final list of 8 and 17 newly discovered objects whose orbits did not match any known solar system body was generated at Illinois' Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory after six months of arduous calculations using a cluster of 200 computers. 
Bernardino Bernstein has manually reviewed this list as a last step to ensure the code performed as intended. When they first saw it, it was a bright object that resembled a planet about 100 miles across that was located beyond Neptune. Its extreme orbit implied that it must have formed trillions of light years distant from the Sun, much like a long period comet. The comet evidence was received by Bernard and Alan Bernstein's official depository, the Minor Planet Center in Cambridge, Massachusetts. In honor of the two, the center verified that the object was indeed a new discovery and that it was a comet known as Bernardinelli Bernstein. As soon as word of the comet's discovery spread, astronomers all over the world started pointing their telescopes at the approaching object and looking through their archives for any previously undiscovered photos of it. The comet was promptly found concealed in archive data from the 2010s, improving the accuracy of its known orbit. Astronomers noticed that comets don't release much material until they get close to the sun's heat, which causes frozen compounds to melt into gas immediately. Despite the comet being more than 2 billion miles from the sun, multiple teams of astronomers confirmed within 24 hours of the announcement that the comet was emitting enough dust and gas to form a visible coma or tail. But even in the frigid region beyond Neptune, Bernardinelli Bernstein appears to contain a large amount of volatiles that turn into gas and begin to dissolve. The object appears immaculate, indicating that it was not baked for a long time in the inner solar system. Photographs captured by NASA's Space Telescope in 2018 and 2020, which also captured photographs of the approaching comet, provided further information about the comet's tail. Scientists were shocked to see that the comet looked significantly brighter in test data than in dark energy survey photographs. The study found that the comet was ejecting a wide, very diffuse tail because test pixels covered a significantly bigger section of the sky than dark energy survey pixels. Bernardinelli Bernstein layered multiple photos of their namesake comet from the dark energy survey in an attempt to determine the comet's tail. Eventually, they found that their data had a very weak signal. Nobody knows where it passed, though. This uncertainty makes it difficult to determine the star's gravitational pull on Oort cloud comets, which could have important ramifications for the date of Bernard and Ellie Bernstein's last inward journey and its proximity to the Sun. Researchers found that the side of the solar system that HD 7977 went through is still unknown. Observations made as the comet gets closer may also change the comet's estimated size. Based on current brightness and models of the comet's gas and dust composition, the estimated distance is 93 miles. However, this method complicates comet size calculation because incomplete models of a comet's outgassing make the nuclear appear larger than it actually is. The team's biggest difficulty in verifying the nucleus's size was telling it apart from the comet's coma. Although Bernardinelli Bernstein is too far away for Hubble to precisely pinpoint its nucleus, the team was able to locate the comet by using the telescope to detect a light signal. The size of the object's nucleus was then ascertained by utilizing the Hubble observations that were available to them, along with a computer modeling technique that predicted the object's coma. The researchers found that previous size estimates from the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array ALMA, in Chile were consistent with the new Hubble findings when they compared their data with those observations. Furthermore, they were able to focus on the object's reflectivity thanks to ALMA's radio observations, which revealed that the comet's surface was darker than they had anticipated. It's larger than coal and darker than black. However, the fact that Bernard and Ellie Bernstein provide astronomers from all over the world with uncommon luxury time is one of their greatest qualities. NASA is currently keeping an eye on the comet, and as it gets closer, we might learn more about it. However, that comet is already starting to make a show. Las Cumbres Observatory recently reported that the comet is becoming more and more bright, this is taking place as it progressively approaches us across space. The comet's orbit has an enormous diameter in line with its size. The comet's distance from the Sun 
increases from roughly 1 billion miles to an astounding 1 trillion miles, according to calculations made by bad astronomy. It's important to remember that this is a fifth of a light year. The comet will be comfortably far from Earth when it travels through the solar system, and it is predicted to come closest to the Sun in 2031. Hooray! Humanity has another opportunity. How do you feel about this enormous space visitor? Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.